I had the opportunity yesterday to watch Baby Driver, and I can tell you guys, what a ride. Baby Driver is about Baby, who is a driver, who drives around criminals, into banks, whatever areas that this guy, Kevin Spacey, needs Baby to go. And I guess he's been doing it for 10 years, ever since his parents died. His parents were killed in a car accident, and ever since then, he's been having this ringing noise in his ears, and that's why he always puts in music to distract the noise, and so he can focus on the music and focus on the mission. And that's why he's the best. So here we are, the story about a man who is done driving around for gangsters, but who just wants to drive with himself and with a girl named Lily James. And there is our story. Right off the bat, for positives, I'm going to talk about the cast. The entire cast does such a great job. There is not one scene of bad acting or mediocre acting or just okay or fine. They're all great, amazing at what they do. My two standouts in this film is Ansel Edgort and Kevin Spacey. If I had to throw in a third one, it would probably be John Hamm. That guy was great in this film, but Ansel Edgort, who played Baby, he did such a great job. He had such charisma, especially between him and Lily James, and the scenes between him and Kevin Spacey were just truly, truly great. Kevin Spacey did an awesome job. I just want to give props to him. He is a fantastic actor. The next positive I have is the writing. The writing in this film is outstanding. It is just so on point with every single scene, with every single actor or actress. Every line that is said is either hilarious or it's important or it's something that is needed for the plot for emotional ground or just to keep the story keep on floating. The next positive is the action and the car scenes. The chasing and the opening of the film was just fantastic. Till the ending of the film, from start to finish, you are just in there with Ansel Edward till the end of the line. My last positive is that the movie continuously builds up. There is not one dull moment in this film. And I have to know that just by watching it one time, and I can't wait to watch it again, even though I have to wait another month. But I digress. Like I said before, it just never has a dull moment until you get to the third act. It's just explosive and explosive. If I can have a negative, is that I wish the movie was 15 minutes longer because I just want to see more car chase scenes. I just want to see more in general stuff that Edgar Wright wants to do with this actor, Ansel Egor, or Kevin Spacey, or John Hamm, Jamie Foxx. It was quite a thrilling movie, and he needs to get this team again to do another film like this. Who knows? There might be a sequel, there might not be, but as long as you get Ansel Egor in front of the camera, Edgar, I approve of the next movie. But as for right now, I'm going to give it a stellar bro. This movie was just straight up awesome. It was the perfect, it is the definition of what a summer movie should be and it is exactly that. Except I got to see it before summertime so heck yeah. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please don't forget to be blessed.